If you're multi-streaming across Twitch, YouTube, or Kick, you've probably found it a bit stressful to keep up with all the different chat messages coming from all the different sources. Well, my friends, I tested what all the biggest streamers are actually using, and I found three tools from simple one-click setup to full power user level control and customization, so that by the end of this video, you'll know what tool is best for your specific live streaming multi-chat needs, and I'll share my method of choice to what I personally use. But real quick, before we get started, I just want to say that I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. The purpose of this video is just to share what I've learned in the past decade of creating content online. So to kick things off, we are going to start with ProChat.gg. And basically what you see is exactly what you get. Once you create a free account, all you have to do is add the public URL to each of the live streams, and then ProChat just aggregates all of those into one cohesive feed. They're currently just limited to YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. You can still add this in a browser source in OBS, but beyond that, you don't really have a lot of control, and that can be both a good and a bad thing depending on what your multi-chat needs are. And that brings us to Caster Labs. Now, it'll make sense in a minute why I stopped using this, but it is a standalone app, which is nice to not have another browser tab open like how everything else works. It's easy to drag around and pull this up on stream and you can highlight a message and talk to someone directly. It has lots of different built-in commands and alerts, but there are a few downsides you should know about. It currently does not have X integration, which is a very slept on live streaming platform at the moment. And there's no option to add multiple live streams from the same source, as in two YouTube lives, for example. And those are ultimately the two reasons why I stopped using Caster Labs. And ladies and gentlemen, I started using Social Stream Ninja. Now this is another standalone app. As you can see from the sidebar here, it has every integration under the sun that you can think about. Uh, even TikTok Live, which I hear is really hard to do. There's an easy one-click button just to quickly pull up the live chat from the service if you need to like delete a message. In the chat window itself, there's a handy notification bell where it will send you an alert when a new message comes in. There's some built-in text-to-speech features, which are cool. But the two biggest reasons as to why I use Social Stream Ninja is that you can add multiple sources. Now, I could make a whole video on multi-streaming to multiple channels, but I met a creator recently who streams to seven different YouTube channels, and the dude is pulling in 100K a month. So there's definitely a strategy there. And then the next reason is the unlimited amount of customization to how you want the messages to look when they're showing on your screen. Everything to do with the font, to the size, to the drop shadow, the keywords, the styling, the fade in, the fade out. Like, I'm not sure if you've seen S Van stream. He has a classic World of Warcraft chat in the corner. I saw a guy a few weeks ago that had a Star Wars themed chat that went up the side of his display. So if you want simple, I would recommend using ProChat. If you're looking for a bit more integration, check out Caster Labs for their suite of tools. But if you want unlimited customization, there is currently no better option that I'm aware of other than Social Stream Ninja. But before you go, every multi-streamer needs to be splitting their audio sources inside OBS for easy clip editing in the future. So make sure to check out the video linked up here and I'll show you exactly how to do that. 